Welcome, fifth grade. So today you have picked out a uh, photograph that drew your attention or um, made you interested in it um, for some reason. So these are all artists, um, and these are artists that you are going to be researching a little bit about um, later on in the project. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn this photograph into a line drawing. And I don't expect the first day's um, attempts at this to be um, your best. Um, you're only going to get one other shot, though. So what you're doing is you're looking for the major lines. Um, and with this artist, um, things around his face um, are very faint. Um, he doesn't have a lot of expression lines like some of the other artists. Um, one, due to the uh, quality of the photo, and then two, just due to his um, facial features and maybe youth or whatnot. So as we get older, more wrinkles. Um, but either way, you're outlining the important things. So I always like to start with um, up by the ear. And what we're doing is we're outlining the chin. Okay. Now this can change sometimes due to hair um, being in the way or other things, um, but I like to outline that first. Um, and then notice I didn't go up to the hair. Um, you're gonna think of the hair more as an outline um, and I'd rather you almost let me come around and help you out with it. Um, but what I'm gonna do is outline the major parts of this. And I know that the video might be kind of hard to see um, for right now, but I'll show you a trick in a little bit and you'll be able to see all the lines that I'm doing here. Okay, so I've outlined the chin and the outer edge of the hair. Um, again, we're not doing every line in the hair, we're doing an outline of where it is. Now I'm gonna do the inside portion of the hair That's going to look like that. So I'm just kind of outlining where the hair is, where it's not. Now, this is that trick I was talking about. By flipping this paper over, you can see kind of what it looks like so far. Okay. So now we're going to look at some of the other main features. Um, so I'm going to do the glasses right away. And when I do the glasses, I'm doing the inside line and the outside outline. You're gonna to wanna to go a little bit slower than I am. Right. You can start to see kind of what it looks like. Um, do the ears, so the outline of the ears, the outline of the neck. Drawing that neck all the way into where that collar of that shirt. Now drawing the collar of the shirt. This artist was alive in the 80s. Um, so you got a nice old school Nike sweatshirt. But we're gonna try to find that shoulder line. Okay. Um, I could add other details, not super important. Um, I do wanna add some of the lines that I know are part of the ear. Again, I can always flip it over and see how I'm doing. Looks good. I'm going to do the eyebrows. Now, with the eyebrows, you kind of have to treat them the same way that you did the um, hair, except for you really want to kind of see the little bumps and add those. 
Otherwise, it ends up looking kind of like a caterpillar on top of your head. If it touches the glasses, then that's where you stop. If there's parts of it underneath, then you draw that. Okay, next, the hardest thing is probably the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. Because if you do it wrong, it doesn't look like the person. What I like to do is outline, it sounds bad when you say outline the skin, but when we're talking about an eye, I want to outline the inside part of the upper eyelid, so the part that touches the eye, and then I want to outline the bottom uh, uh, eyelid, so this is also the part that touches the eye. Now we have another line that goes and outlines the upper part of the eyelid and the bottom. Okay, so what that looks like is I did the first part is the inner and then the outer eyelid. So I'm looking at like bags underneath his eyes, saggy wrinkles, all that type of thing. And then I want to outline the eyeball itself. And then if I can see the pupil, I outline that as well. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see there, but... All right, then to the other one. Okay, so now we have two eyes. And for the nose, when we don't have glasses, we would pick one side that has more of a shadow. And I would draw right along that shadow. Because I have the glasses, I don't have to draw that line. Um, and if you need help with the nose, please call me over. So a lot of people just draw circles inside the nostrils and it ends up looking like a pig. Um, so what we want to do is kind of outline the nostrils. So I curve down here and then I'm going to go up and then kind of back down. And what that looks like is the curve. I go down and then I come up and back in. Okay, and then again on this side, coming down, outline the top part of the nostril, then I go in, um, and I'm left with something that looks like that. Okay, I could outline this little, um, I forgot what it's called, but cleft in the upper lip. But what I'm going to do for the mouth is I outline the outside part of the darker skinned area, so the upper lip. And then I want to do the same. I want to outline the outside of the bottom lip. Okay, so it looks like that for right now. And then I'm going to outline the bottom lip and then the upper lip. So now... We're left with that. And then sometimes there are frown lines. I do have a dark shadow underneath the glasses there. Um, a lot of the facial, if you don't know what to do, just call me over and I'll, I can help you out with that. Um, sometimes there's lines on the chin. Um, again, his face is very fair, uh, meaning it doesn't have a lot of expression and kind of all flat. Um, Anything in the neck, uh, wrinkles, um, you could outline the top part of Nike. Okay, but that's basically it. And what you're left with is a outline or line drawing of the artist. Okay, which we will do more with later. All right, best of luck. Again, each portrait's completely different. Um, I will help with hair, um, nose and mouth, um, but I wanna see you attempt it on your first one on your own. I can help uh, the following class when we're doing the final copies. Good luck, everyone.